Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with the New Orleans Pelicans Super Realistic Rebuild Series. In this one, we're doing part two. Here are the objectives for this video. And if you guys have not seen part one, make sure to click the link in the description and enjoy. So we're going to start off with the draft lottery. We're not in it for obvious reasons, but we will have the 26th pick. And with the 26th pick, we're going to take Wilson Maggetti out of Nebraska. 236 pounds, 6'11". And he should be a good piece. We'll check out his potential in the roster update. But So right now, we're actually in a really interesting position. As far as money goes, we only have Anthony Davis really on a big contract for close to $40 million for next season locked up. And the rest of these guys, we will try to offer one-year deals. So that way, if we don't really do much in the playoffs, we can go into a full rebuild or maybe just build around Anthony Davis and sign some other pieces. But we'll see what happens in the offseason and that'll determine our success. So here in free agency, Cody Martin, one of our bench pieces, not really played much throughout his career, is getting an offer for 10 mil for three years. And we're not going to match this because that would hurt our cap flexibility. So we're going to let him go. So after the offseason, this is what we did. We did re-sign Josh Richardson to a pretty good deal. Two-year deal with the team option and Miritich, 12 million for one year. And pretty much all these guys, we're gonna have to um, either let go or re-sign next year, but they are getting up there in age. They're all approaching 30. Wilson Maggetti does have some pretty good potential. Make sure to watch to the end because there'll be a poll in the description at the end of the video. Here is the rotation for this season. Darius Garland, Drew Holiday, Josh Richardson, Randall Davis, Miritich, Murphy getting some more minutes off the bench for us. And there you guys see the reserves. We're not really deep on the reserves end, so hopefully no injuries happen, but we will send Maggetti to the G League. And we'll check out the system real quick. It is the same, we'll, we'll keep it at balance for now. So as usual, Anthony Davis is going to find himself on the All-Star team. But surprisingly, Julius Randle is also an All-Star. You can see him at the bottom of the list on Team Giannis. So that's pretty interesting right there. So we're here at the trade deadline and no major injuries have happened. So we're lucky. We are the number one seed as of right now. 37-17. and 17. We're on a two-game winning streak. And we're shooting 37% from three which is pretty good for this team. We don't really have a lot of shooters. So one of our first pretty big injuries here, Josh Richardson is going to be out for a little while and we're going to start Murphy at the small forward. We don't really have a backup small forward. Big injury here. Anthony Davis has suffered a broken vertebrae. He's going to be out for the season. And that's a big blow to our playoff chances. We're almost at the playoffs and he's going to be out for the rest of the season. We don't really have a key big man that can fill in that role. But Damian Jones will fill that position for now. Wilson Maggetti, our rookie in the G League. We're going to have to call him up because we don't have a backup center. So he's going to get some minutes at backup center and hopefully... We don't lose too many games from here on out and can maintain a top three seed for home field advantage in the playoffs. So about two weeks before the playoffs start, uh, Josh Richardson is going to be back here. So Murphy is going to go back to the bench and that helps out a little bit. But obviously Anthony Davis is the biggest injury here. So for this season, Russell Westbrook's going to win the MVP. RJ Hampton on the Jazz Rookie of the Year. Kay Felder. Anthony Davis actually won Defensive Player of the Year. Even though right now he is injured. So that's pretty cool. LaMelo Ball, most improved. And we did get Coach of the Year. So hopefully we got the one seed. And anyone, looks like Julius Randle on the All-NBA third team. Averaging 17 and 11. Anthony Davis also on the All-NBA third team. So we do have an All-NBA third team front court. And there you guys see Drew Holiday made the All-Defensive second team. So that's pretty cool. And then any rookies. Looks like we don't have any rookies on the teams. But checking out the standings, we were the one seed. So 
the Anthony Davis injury didn't hurt us too much. So that gives us a little bit of hope in the playoffs. We will be playing the Rockets. Very tough team in the first round. Even though they're kind of old at this point. Darius Garland did improve from last season. Averaging some pretty good numbers. Pretty solid numbers. This is going to be the rotation for the playoffs. As you guys can see, Josh Richardson is a little bit injured. But he can still play. And here is the Rockets roster. James Harden is 32. Chris Paul also on this team. Clint Capella is injured though. So I don't know how that's going to affect this series. It should affect it a little bit. But we'll see. So let's get right into this first round. Game 1. Josh Richardson has healed. We'll leave it at, as is. We do win game 1. Game 2. They tie up the series 1-1. One, one. Game 3. They win game three. Game four. They also win game four. We're down 3-1 now. We bring it back 3-2. We're going to force a game seven in New Orleans. Can we win with home court advantage in a game seven? If it's down to the wire, we'll hop in and try to save it. So we are down four points here with about two minutes left. Let's see what we can do here on defense. Very dangerous players in Chris Paul and James Harden. Oh, good thing he didn't shoot that or drive. Step back, Harden doesn't hit. That's Harden's signature shot, so we got a little bit lucky there. Josh Richardson, blow by. No, I didn't mean to pull up. I don't know why he pulled up. He was already past James Harden. James Harden to the rack, no good. Chris Paul wide open. He hits it. Those boards really hurting us right now. Clint Capella was supposedly injured, but I guess he's back now. And we're going to run a little pick and roll. Wide open. And the yam. So the Rockets managed to knock down some free throws. And we're actually down seven right now, so we need a quick three. Miritich on Chris Paul. Good shot. Tough shot, but he still hit it over the smaller defender. But we're going to have to play defense here. Maybe get a quick steal. We're down four. We don't need a three, but it would help out. Good D right there. We're playing off ball right now. Oh, good steal. Good steal, Garland. Don't see anyone open. We're going to bring it back again, Miritich. We're going to hope he can hit this. Green. Good shot, Miritich. Two back-to-back -back clutch threes by Miritich. And they hit their free throw, so now we're down three. We're going to try to get Garland a three with a pick. But looks like Chris Paul is not letting us get the space. We get a little bit of space. Open shot. Missed it. Out back to Garland. Another open shot. Missed it again. So checking out the stats for this game seven. Drew Holiday had 20 and 10. He only shot two for eight from the three-point line, though. Randall actually fouled out. That's why he was not in the game. Garland shot three for 15 from three. Just not a good shooting performance at all. Miritich only had seven points. And Harden had 30 points. So the Lakers and the Sixers are going to be in the finals. Let's see who's going to take it home. 2-2 two, two series, 3-2, three, 4-2. Two, two, the Sixers win Ben Simmons finals MVP. So we're in the draft lottery. And we're going to have probably... Yeah, the 29th pick in the draft, so we'll see what we can do. With the 29th pick in the draft, we're going to take this guy, Calvin Curry, just because he has the name Curry, and we don't really have anyone scouted, so we're going to take a chance on a guy named Curry and see what happens. Ohio State. So we're actually going to check out Calvin Curry's ratings and his potential and see if we got a good player or not in the 20th. 96 potential for Calvin Curry. What a steal. What a steal at the 29th pick. Our first sleeper in the draft that we draft in this series. So here's the roster after the offseason. And I'm still surprised by what we got with the 29th pick. But we did re-sign Randall to three years with the team option. Everyone else is on a one-year deal, including Anthony Davis. Also, Darius Garland, so we're going to have to pay him next season. 
and Adrian Murphy. We still have team control for two more years, so we're in a pretty good position right now if we want to go rebuild in the future. So here's the rotation that we're going to be doing. Exactly the same as every other year. We like consistency in this franchise, but we are going to give eight minutes a game to Curry. Let him develop a little bit, get some game experience. And Brian Porter, we will send to the G League, but system proficiency will keep the same. So here at the All-Star break, Julius Randle and Anthony Davis both again are All-Stars. So we have an All-Star front court. Hopefully that gets us somewhere in the playoffs and we can stay healthy. So here at the trade deadline, let's check out how we're doing and we'll see if we need to make some changes or some trades. We're actually 37 and 19, so about the same as last year. Again, the one seed. So I don't think we need to make any trades for now. So we'll stick with this lineup. So at the contract extension deadline, we're going to try to offer Anthony Davis an extension because he's our best player and he's a 97 overall. Why wouldn't we? He actually declines that offer, so that's going to be interesting. So for this season, DeMarcus Cousins wins MVP on the Lakers. Shaquille O'Neal on the Bucks, Rookie of the Year. Anthony Davis, again, Defensive Player of the Year. And again, we get Coach of the Year. So let's check out Anthony Davis and what he put up. Pretty solid numbers, pretty much what he's been averaging the whole video. But we'll check out the teams here. Anthony Davis will be on the third team again, along with Julius Randle. Very consistent front court for us, I gotta say. And Drew Holiday on the all-defensive first team. Really good defender. So, rookie teams, we didn't get anyone. But standings, we did maintain the number one seed. So, we were a little bit better than last year. And we'll have home court advantage up until the finals. But we will be playing the Sacramento Kings with Kevin Durant in the first round. So that's going to be interesting and we'll see what kind of team they have. They still have Bagley and Fox. So Anthony Davis is a little bit hurt right now, but here you guys can see the stats. Adrian Murphy stepping up in his third season. So here's the rotation that we're going to be using. I think at this point, if we get eliminated anywhere before the conference finals, it might be time to consider a rebuild. So let's check out the Kings roster. Kevin Durant, 94 still. He's 34 years old, averaging about 22 points per game. Marvin Bagley is an 88. So he gets the rebounds and the uh, points. De'Aaron Fox does it all for a point guard. So it's going to be a tough matchup. So let's get right into this series. We should be able to get out of the first round. I mean, we're the first seed. But Anthony Davis has healed. So we'll, we'll leave the rotation for now. We do lose game one. Game two, we also lose game two. Can we force this to be competitive? We are down 3-0 now, but we're going to give a lot of minutes to Anthony Davis, a lot of minutes to the starters, and we're just going to see if we can somehow pull it off. This miracle down 3-0 against KD. Can we pull it off? We'll see. Do or die for this team. Can we come back? Game four, are we going to get swept? We win game four. Can we force another game? Three to two now. Can we force a game seven? And we end up getting eliminated in six games in the first round. Buddy Heald with 22. KD with 17. We just couldn't score. I mean, they couldn't score either, but we could score less. You could say Anthony Davis, not even 20 points. And he only averaged 15 for the playoff series. Julius Randle had a double-double. Josh Richardson as well. Drew Holiday not really playing that well. And Garland not playing good at all. So it is going to be a Knicks-Lakers finals. The Lakers have been in the finals like at least four times this video. But they are going to win this time with DeMarcus Cousins. Do you guys think it's time to blow this team up? We've had a lot of chances with Anthony Davis and Julius Randle in this core, but is it time to give it up and start over? Here you guys can see the roster. Anthony Davis is going to be a free agent. He did not want to sign an extension, so he could be leaving this team 
And if he leaves this team, then we're probably going to go into a rebuild. He's our best player. Randall is here a little bit long term, but we can trade him for assets if we need to. Everyone else is on one year deals, so pretty much what Anthony Davis does is going to decide our route. But there will be a poll in the description. Make sure to click on it and go vote. What do you guys think we should do? And I'll take that into consideration and try to do that in the next video. But thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe for some more videos.